Hi, and welcome to RICS. And in this video, I'll walk you through how to use the assessment platform, the functions and steps you should be taking to assist your candidates in completing their submission requirements. To access the platform, you will need to type in and save assessment.rics.org and log in using your email and password associated with your RICS account. The website is where you will be approving and providing feedback to candidates regarding their documents and other assessment requirements. At the top of the screen, you may also notice a counselor training module to be completed. This must be completed before you can approve any part of the candidate submission. We recommend that you also complete if you haven't done it in a while. The RICS assessment platform will be accessible to all current professional members with an active candidate. As such, you may have limited or no access to the platform if you are not nominated as a current counselor. When a candidate nominates you, you should receive an email to confirm that candidate's request. Alternatively, you can review all these requests in the platform from the menu bar on the left hand side and navigate to approvers or request, or at the top of the screen under clicking your profile. This page shows all requests to act as a counselor and also requests to support as a proposer and seconder depending on your country and region. When approving any request, please read to ensure that you're either approving to support a candidate as a counselor or as a proposer or seconder. To approve, you must select yes and submit to save this. If you can no longer support a candidate in their journey, we do recommend that you contact them and advise that they'll need to seek the support of another professional member. As a general hint, if you want to navigate back to the home screen, you can click on the RSES logos at the top of the screen or in the left hand side menu bar. When you have approved a new candidate request as a counselor, they will appear in your home screen as a new entry. This view will also be the main home page when you first log into the platform. It will show a list view of all the candidates you are supporting, their name, email address, phone number, and also the last time they logged into the platform. You may also notice three icons, and these have been intentionally developed to help you quickly identify candidates who have requested support, showing a red notification dot for the items that need feedback and approval. These icons correspond to summary of experience, case study, and approved by counselor. There is also a help icon below at the bottom of the page that includes the contact details of the local RICS office, along with user guides, tutorials such as this, and other relevant guides. When reviewing your candidate, you can click on Show More. This will reveal a progress tracker that mirrors the candidate's platform in real time and will show items appearing in red as not started, items in orange as started but not yet completed, and green as completed. For the candidate with your support, the aim is to turn the whole progress tracker green to allow the candidate to submit for assessment. The candidate is responsible for their CBD, but as a counselor, you'll be able to review that CBD by clicking on it and seeing a full record for the candidate. You can also view the competency selector, and as a counselor, it's essential that the candidate selects the correct pathway relevant to their job role. Your in-depth knowledge and understanding of these competencies is therefore vital to the success of the candidate. You can also review if the candidate has input their employment history and recommended that you double check prior to submitting for the final assessment that they have included a complete career history relevant to their pathway and have provided a summary of the roles and responsibilities. You can see if the professionalism module, the RICS ethics test is completed as you may wish to test the knowledge of this when conducting mock interviews and interview preparation for the APC and SPA candidates. As a counselor, the main action in this platform is to review, provide feedback and advice or approve elements of the written submission. To approve these, you will either notice that there is a notification dot when they've submitted something, the tracker as well might turn to orange, or at the top of the screen, there's an envelope which shows all the action items that you need to review. To do this, you can click on the case study or summary of experience. This will load a drop down, allowing you to first download a copy of that submission. As an additional tip, reviewing the candidate guide, counselor guide, assessor guide, and pathway can greatly enhance your knowledge of the requirements, such as maximum word count, inclusions, structure, and the levels of writing that is required to ensure if the chosen examples and the activities accurately demonstrate the competence towards the declared experience. 
After reviewing the candidate's written documentation, you can provide feedback, recommendations, areas of improvement, including changes or alterations that they could be making. You can type this here and submit feedback. Please ensure that you do click feedback or the approval in the platform to unlock the functionality for the candidate to upload a newer version. This function will remain locked until you have done this step. When approving, you certify in your opinion that the candidate has reached the level of proficiency that justifies attending the final assessment. You will not be required to type in any feedback and only need to press approve and submit. This is the same process when approving and providing feedback for both the case study and summary of experience. You are signing a declaration in your capacity as an RICS professional and such bound by the RICS ethics, rules of conduct and professionalism. This is why the last icon is the approve candidate, which is your last action item. Please note you must read and agree to the statement by clicking on it or sliding it to purple and then click submit approval. Once this step is completed, the candidate within their platform can complete a declaration and will be able to submit for the next available assessment window when opened. This concludes on how to use the RICS assessment platform and additional information for counsellors.